Nigeria National Food Consumption and Micronutrient Survey is a landmark population survey and significant milestone in Nigeria. Implemented in 2021 by IITA in collaboration with the government, NARS, and private sector partners, it sampled 14,820 respondents who included children, adolescent girls, pregnant and non-pregnant women. The first survey of this kind was conducted in 1968, and the last was in 2001. Two decades later, we now have new evidence to move nutrition forward in Nigeria with the goal of identifying key factors associated with poor nutrition in targeted populations. The survey provides a credible national baseline and the evidence to formulate policies and target programming and interventions at both national and subnational levels. The survey is a research innovation for two reasons. One, because it uses the Novel Index 24 mobile application to collect food consumption data. Nigeria is the first country to use this innovative dietary intake assessment tool in a large-scale survey. Second, it combines a micronutrient and food consumption survey collecting data on anthropometry, micronutrient status, and food consumption on the same individuals. The Nigeria survey was fully digitalized and is the most comprehensive survey in Africa. This innovation is ready to be scaled out and replicated in other countries in Africa planning a similar survey including Kenya, Uganda, and Madagascar. Some key messages emerging from the survey results include, 1. Most diets are inadequate for key micronutrients. For example, 95% of the women surveyed have inadequate folate intake. 2. Consumption of some biofortified crops is low. Among surveyed women, only 3 to 13 percent had consumed selected biofortified foods in the 30 days prior to the survey. 3. The fortification program in Nigeria could be expanded to include folate and zinc, as 1 in 3 women and children are zinc deficient and 9 in 10 women are folate deficient. The survey has indeed generated provocative results. 1. The results question long-held assumptions on where to invest and may shift the focus of interventions targeting micronutrient deficiencies to zinc and folate. 2. The data also reveal the limited impact of some well-supported interventions, which highlight the need for a better understanding of the consumer and the food environment. 3. The data indicate that we must make healthy diets safe and affordable to all. Closing the data gap is critical to guiding investments to reduce malnutrition and poverty in Africa. Without a doubt, better data is needed to redefine the problem of malnutrition. Diagnose its root causes. Design interventions. And track progress towards set milestones. The survey gives Nigeria the information we need to do just that. By revealing the types and amounts of food people eat and the adequacy of their diets, this innovation informs targeted nutrition interventions and programs. The tool can be used to monitor existing programs that aim to improve diet quality. For climate adaptation interventions, this innovation can identify entry points for interventions, assess the impact of these interventions for desired outcomes and do no harm, and monitor diet transition in the face of climate change.